Well, hello, Bame Farm fans. We are back here at the chickens. And uh, we moved them the other day. Like, this is only two days old. They're having lots of fun scratching. Going through our grass. Our nice, lovely cover crop of grass. Uh, but we're out here in the pumpkins. And the chickens are out in the pumpkins. There's a good reason the chickens are in the pumpkins. So we'll get to that in a second. Uh, I'll quick dump them some feed, check on their water, collect eggs, you know, the usual morning routine. Okay, so the real reason we're here is a little problem we had. And who knows if anybody remembers looking at the nesting boxes and all those videos I made earlier in the year about this lovely setup. We had to do some modifications. And you know why we had to do modifications? Because chickens are vicious little dum-dums. Yeah. They started picking each other's vents. They were cannibalizing, and I couldn't figure out why. I upped the protein, gave them more feed. I have them out in the pumpkin patch also, for that reason. I don't know if it's necessarily more protein in the pumpkins, but there's plenty of stuff for them to pick at. Like, they can pick the seeds of the pumpkins, pick at the pumpkins. There was lots of grass growth, but here near the trailer, they've really eaten it down. But it's greener out there. Yeah, there's a few weeds from where the pumpkins didn't shade them out so well. Uh, but uh, there's grass, pumpkins, lots of things to eat. Mud to play in. Oh, I guess we'd crack one open. But yes, the chickens were cannibalizing. Now oh, there's tons of squash over here still. Yeah, the uh, these coo shells did really well. Oh, come on, find something to break open. Let's take our foot. Oh, that's a hard one. I give up already. Need to bring a knife out here. Well, let's go back in the trailer and I'll explain what we did to fix this cannibalism problem. Well, there we go. There's a pumpkin they've already eaten underneath the trailer. I don't, that one might have had a bad spot. Maybe they just got curious enough and picked at it. That's what they've all been wanting. Still got plenty of feed out in the field and their feeders. Because they had to put these flaps on. Now, these buckets are not 12 inches wide. They're only nine inches wide and they're a little over about 12 deep. A lot of recommendations I read online when I built these things suggested 12 by 12. I thought that was too big because I knew multiple hens would try to cram themselves in here. So I went for a smaller size, but this is what all I could find were these buckets. The buckets weren't bigger. Hello, are you laying an egg? Good job. Well, the problem is a chicken can get in it and it's hard for two chickens to get in the box but not having the room for two chickens means there's no room for the chickens to turn around like this lovely lady see her uh her back end at the entrance of the bucket so when she's laying an egg that would leave her tail and rear end very exposed and when a chicken lays an egg the vent, all the feathers are pulled back, and your rear end's exposed, miss. Well, you know, chickens, I guess, kind of have a natural knack to find the bloody things. They're like little land sharks. Now, the hens aren't supposed to be bloody while laying an egg, but, you know, just internal body parts kind of halfway come out when you're laying an egg. So they investigate and they peck and it's very sensitive soft tissue and then all of a sudden one peck leads to two and then it's just a whole mess. Well, because there's a door in the way, they can't be nosy. So you got your private space, makes the nesting boxes nice and dark. Putting these flaps on has also helped de deter or redistribute the hens. They always liked to be in the corners, like down here at the far end. But now they're using the middle more um, since the nesting boxes are darker. That's probably one mistake is using these white buckets because they're bright and white and hens like a nice dark area to lay. Uh, well, there's nothing dark about the color white. Now the back side of the tarp is black. This is just some billboard tarping I kind of hacked up. Um, this tarp has 
a... Oh, a something. Uh, I don't want to say a slit. But it's got a, a loop over of material to create a an opening or a hole or a slot that I ran actually more tobacco sticks in and screwed those from the bottom up into the bucket. See, there's a screw that goes into the wood and then the wood is in the loop on top to hold it down. And it's just gravity. I thought about anchoring them at the bottom, but that would have been too much. They need to be loose so the way the chickens can get in. So if they can get their head in, they'll go in. But see, see oh, you're, you're checking out boxes. I see you. She's looking for a place to lay. Hopefully this is what deterred them. At least I'm going to claim it is. Now, of course, also the day I ordered blinders. These girls were this close to getting blinders so they couldn't see anything in front of them. I suppose the blinders will let them look down, but not in, for, in front of them. Well, when you look at chicken eyesight, and you're looking forward. Well, you know, what's, what, what happens when you look forward? You see chicken butts, not down. So the blinders would hopefully stop them from looking forward at each other's butt. Yep, I said butt. But it hasn't come to that. The, the blinders have not arrived in the mail. And we haven't had any cannibalism issues. No, but I haven't found any dead hens in the last three days since I ordered them. And it's been a, almost a week since I put this tarp on to make the flaps for seclusion. So I'm not to be superstitious or anything, but at least ordering the, uh, the blinders has warded off any more issues. I really think the, the flaps helped. It took them a few days to become accustomed to their new nesting box um, oh, additions, modification, we'll say modification, our new nesting box modification. So to wrap it up, I'll say the, the, I guess the cure to the cannibalism was creating a physical barrier between the outside hens and the hens trying to lay, and then also the darkness, so it's harder for the investigating hens out front here to see anything inside the boxes with the darkness. I wish I could have used red, the fancy expensive uh, nesting boxes with the flaps you can buy online have red flaps. And the idea behind the red is to create confusion because the, you know, the hens supposedly like to pick at red things. So when there's something red, they don't know what to peck at, whether it's another chicken or the red flap. And the red flap just means, well, when they pick at the red flap, nothing happens because, uh, well, it's plastic. So they learn that red doesn't necessarily provide them with anything entertaining. Oh, quick fella dishes out here. Yeah, you pick at that squash. Get it. Okay, well, we'll wrap up this video. Um, we'll see how it goes, as long as nobody else tries to die. Um, I probably will not put the blinders on just so they can range, free range more naturally. But if one of them decides wants to be picked on... See, I tried to find the instigating hen. I thought I did. Then the day after I pulled her out, there was another deceased hen with her vent pecked out. So that wasn't that, that one hen wasn't the cause, but I haven't had issues since. So I don't know who. Yeah, were you the bad hen, huh? You? What about you? Well, so not finding the culprit. Maybe the issue has solved itself with the nesting box modification. Um, but yes, if the if they do need it, I will show you guys the blinders. But if they don't. Well, that means it's good on my end, and you won't see it. Sorry about that. But we'll stick with the, uh, stick with everything's gonna go well from here on out. Well, the funny thing happened last night, as it would be, because I was talking about those blinders. Well, those came in the mail, and we got one. I got a whole big pack of these, 250 of them for all the hens. And this is what I got, a box. Are these funny looking things? Now, how does this work? Well, so these two little, uh, we'll say pins, that go into the chicken's nostrils. And I never chicken nostrils, I never realized that chicken nostrils were that big. And the arch goes over the bridge. So you look at them, it sits somewhat like this. And they see this side. 
Uh, but it's set and designed, so I'll be able to look down, but I can't look forward. Let's find a hen to volunteer, and we'll try it out. It's been a few days since I found the deceased hen, so we're gonna play it cool on, on the whole operation of um, anti-vent pecking. So anybody wanna volunteer? You look curious down here. Come hither. Anybody? He's got a clean beak. Do you wanna be uh, harassed? How about you? Do you wanna be harassed? Yeah, you're too nice. You look like you want to be harassed. You're going to jump away, aren't you? We'll pick somebody. Who's eating? I want somebody with a nice clean beak. Before I violate your nose with one of these things. What are you doing down here? How about you? You're going to volunteer? Let's see if we can't take a close look at chicken nostrils for a second. Yeah, you guys are about to get a piercing and you probably don't want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. you got to cooperate. Hold still. This is why it's better than dark. Now, if we try to take a close look, they've got a pretty big slot, so there's room. It's not, it's not a wide, but it's long. There's not much depth. Don't move so fast. So you're about to have your uh, nose pierced, young lady. We'll kind of see how this is going to work out. You got to sit. This is why I would much rather do this at night, but then nobody can see the demonstration. I don't know. Sit. I know. You feel like you're going to get choked. This is why I didn't want to put these blinders on, because I knew it was going to be a pain in the butt. Sit. This is why you need, like, a friend or a buddy. Oh, it'll pop over, I guess. That's going to fit in your nose? Huh. You try it out, and you're not going to like it, will you? This feels torturous. Sit down! I'm trying to keep you demonstrate. These are supposed to spread. They have pliers for this. That's going to fit in your nostrils? Well, I got it on. I'm so glad it didn't come to this. Because this was rather a pain in the butt to put on. I don't even like how it fits the hen. I learned a lot about chicken nostrils, about the soft tissue and the hard tissue. A lot of it's not that hard. Are you going to move your head, huh? Just feel good about chickens. Would you like Joe Cool with those funky gla like wrapper glasses with the lines through them? I guess you won't be able to see anything in front of you. I'll take these off, dear. But this was such a struggle to put these dumb things on. Like, it was almost pure torture. And you probably want a buddy, and I realize why they sell pliers to put these things on. You know, move your head. Isn't that kind of weird? Woo! Be like one of, them, one of them good fancy dancers nowadays. So this is what the blinders would look like. Since we don't have to, I'm not going to use them. I'm glad you guys straightened yourself out so I didn't have to, uh... Or we didn't have to struggle through this. By we, I mean me and all you girls. So this was a quick little uh, show and tell. Started to demonstrate. I mean, it was hard on my fingers. It took her a second to get used to it. She was shaking her uh, head around. But she just got, like, pierced in the nose. I don't want to be pierced in the nose. Do you like nose piercings, huh? We'll try to take these off. That's not going to go any better. It, it gets in there eventually. I don't know how you can breathe. But you need two hands. There we go. See, I was worried about that. That was if they, they could get caught on something out here. Here, go free. And this isn't just pure grass. There's plenty of weeds and things. And how many hens would lose the blinders after getting their head, you know, tangled in some weeds? Well, this has been fun with chickens. Um, hopefully, we don't have any more bad news fun. I, I see you. Be good. Behave. Uh, and we'll be back with more action of other farm stuff.